Yeah, that just might work. Hey, Chippy people, Howlin' Mad Mud Duck back to you. Uh, September 17th, Friday, Friday, Friday. So evidently I made it through another week, bitches. What the hell you looking at? I've got... Where are they at? I know they're there somewhere. There they are. Uh, raining like all hell out, which I'm happy for because we really fucking need it. And just as long as we don't have some gusty winds to go along with it before the trees decide they're going to uh, settle in place again. Truck blew a head gasket and uh, I got oil or water getting into my oil. Last time it was oil getting into the water. This time it's water getting into the oil and my oil looks like a chocolate milkshake that's set for three days in the back window of a car. Not happy about that. So I contacted this fella that uh, makes uh, the world's finest. There is none better. Pour into your engine head gasket treatment that will seal you. It's guaranteed to work. And this guy made his own after he poured some bars, B-A-R-R-S, bars, destroy your fucking engine crap into his engine in a Land Rover and it clogged up the heater core, destroyed the radiator, and uh, the engine just basically seized up because this shit was in the cooling jackets, in the water jackets. So, uh, get out of my ashtray. So, uh, got a hold of him and he made me a phenomenal deal and I might make a video of this. Get out of my ashtray. Hey, my cigarettes. Remember the little baby kitties that uh, I was nursing? Yeah, uh, evidently, I must have done something right. Get up there in your spot, shithead. This one likes to hide behind the curtain here. This is Junior. Not to be confused with his brother Lefty or Tigger. They're going, what the hell? That's me on the video. Is that you, baby? Ah. The kittens have found that they can step on the phone and change whatever I'm watching over to what they want to watch. And the baby kittens work the phone. So, evidently they're growing. I must be doing something right. Excuse me as I reach over here and rearrange shit that uh, Junior decided to disrupt. Junior likes to pull the joints out of the ashtray that I have half smoked sitting in the ashtray and run off with them. Uh oh. I see it happening. It's getting ready to pounce. my poor blinds because yeah kittens I'm not going to have any blinds left but I think they're, uh, they're they're two months and a week old so I think I've done pretty good because I got them at two weeks old. And they hang out with this critter right here. This is Tigger, and he's a wonderful thing. He plays with the little ones, and they're basically look a lot like him. So I think they got the same daddy. Maru and Cutie are out 
in the rain still. So the truck blows a head gasket. I'm aware of the truck blowing a head gasket. I go online and figure out everything I need to do to replace a single head gasket. Then I go online uh, looking for the world's best head gasket sealer. A little something called Bear's True Blue. And uh, calculate out the prices of that. Take that off. It's like fucking 80 degrees in here. I don't know why, but this trailer just holds the heat compared to the other one. And it's twice the size, and I'm using the same heater on the same low setting. He used to barely heat the little one, and it overheats the big one. So evidently, I got something called insulation. So I get a hold of... Uh, damn it. I know his name. Uh, David. Excuse me, I'm tired. I get a hold of David and ask him what's the bottom line that you can sell me two bottles of sealer and a bottle of fucking cleaner for. And he gives me a ridiculously low price, which I immediately jump on. And we go to run my credit card, and my credit card isn't accepted by PayPal. So we go and do it again, and it isn't accepted by PayPal. So we try it the next day, and it isn't accepted by PayPal. And it's like, fuck this. And then, because it was rejected three times, it gets a hold put on it. Evidently, Experian is dictating to the post office what my address is. My mailing address is a P.O. box in Sumner. According to Experian, it's the P.O. box I had six years ago in Milton. Who the fuck do they think they are to uh, dictate to the post office what my address is? So David says, well, just shoot me an $80 money order. I'm shipping the stuff to you anyways. I know you're good for it. So I told him, well, I got to go and do that right now. So I went up and I pawned everything that was of any fucking value. Oh, I pawned everything that was of any fucking value and put it on the credit card. Put it in the checking, then from checking into the credit card. So I could do this credit card transaction shit. So he says, shoot me an $80 money order and we'll call it good. Well, $80 is like half the goddamn retail price. The guy's giving me like a 50% price break. Real decent guy. And I go up to the nearest place I know that has money orders where I pick up the money from my brother Steve. And uh, I didn't know that you have to either have a checking account, use a checking account or cash to get a money order. They won't take it off a credit card. So I go down to the nearest cash machine, and mind you, I'm running around on a blown head gas getting my oil looks like chocolate milk. Uh, get down to the cash machine, and the cash machine rejects a $100 fucking advancement. So I go over and buy a couple cans of cat food. Yeah, the goddamn credit card works. So I go up to the cash machine at the Chase Bank up by the Walmart. Their goddamn cash machine doesn't do anything, so I notice the lobby door is open, so I go in. And I'm told, uh, well, you need to go to a bank where there's tellers. We are bankers. We don't disperse money. Well, there used to be a goddamn teller uh, counter, you know, there when I started banking with them. But now they're bankers. Well, you know, bank on this bitch. So I got to go up the goddamn road another four or five miles to the next Chase Bank. And they explained to me I've got a hold on my credit card that isn't going to be pulled till Monday. And, uh, you know, they did something and 
So, my, on Monday, I could fucking pull this money off. Well, you know, Thursday, I make the deal with the man. I want to get him paid and to check in the mail as soon as possible. Call it a character flaw, but I got a thing about paying my bills. Bills got to be paid before any fucking thing else. And the man made me a phenomenal deal. I'm going to get him his money as quick as I can or faster. So, I can't pull any money off the credit card. <laughs> so, when my brother Steve shoots me a number on Friday, today, I tell him, hey, can you send me a few more dollars because, hey, you know, I, I need $80 money order. So, he shoots me some more, another set of numbers, so I got $100 I can go pick up because he's doing it 50 at a time. So, I go out to the truck to start the truck, and the fucking truck's battery is completely fucking dead. Don't ask me why, but there is no fucking juice in it at all. I left something on, and I haven't figured out what the hell I left on to drain the goddamn battery in seven hours. So, hooked the battery up to the battery charger, running a cord from the truck up to the goddamn generator that you can hear running. My $330, I couldn't afford it, but I needed a generator. And uh, an hour before the place closes, the truck decides to start. So I get up and get my money, get my money order, money order immediately is filled out, put in a goddamn envelope with a stamp on it I've already got made up, over to the post office. What money is left over, oh, well, there's one of the kids wanting in. Get in here. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Well, it isn't my fault you went out. I told you it was wet and nasty out there. Yes, I did. This is Pie Kitty. Pie Kitty is the only girly kitty I got. This is daughter of George. And she doesn't rate half a goddamn... I mean, shit, George is like ten times smarter. This one ain't too fucking bright. And she's an attention whore. I can't pet any of the other cats or she's all up my face. Hey, you're wet. Why don't you go find some place to dry off? Yes. Get out of here. Normally, I like wet pussy, but uh, you're an exception tonight. Go away. So, got up there, got the mail, in the mail, through the rest of the money I had in the bank. Brought the total and checking up enough where I could pull some money out to get gas, so now I got a full tank of gas. Got oil, got a filter. This stuff is supposed to show up 